guys, my name is Fred. Thanks for tuning in to this CAD Dimensions Tech Tip. Today we're going to be talking about uh, creating a drawing template. This process is fairly quick and easy and will save you lots of time in the long run. Your templates are found on the Advanced tab, so you want to toggle that at the bottom right. The Novice tab will just use your default template in this case. Uh, to start, we're just going to open up a blank template. Uh, you're going to want to select a predefined format. You could change these two if you'd like, but we're not going to get into that today. Uh, I'm going to select just the default B size in this case. And we're going to go in and we're going to start changing the actual format of the sheet. So down here on the bottom right is driven by the format. So I'm going to insert a note. And since my initials won't change, I'm just going to add them straight onto the drawing. No need to drive this using a custom property, but if you would like to, in cases where you have multiple users using the same template across the company, uh, you can drive this using a custom property, or you can also use the default author setting. Now we're gonna insert the date. On the left side, press the link to property button. We're gonna go in and change the setting so that we're using the model found here, not necessarily the document. This means that it will follow the settings from the model, not the drawing properties so we're gonna go and toggle that uh, we're gonna go down to property name we're gonna select the SolidWorks uh, created date or just the date we're gonna shorten up this format because the long format is huge and we don't need it that long press OK now let's edit the template right click the sheet and press edit sheet we're gonna be adding a predefined isometric view in this case, we're going to be opening a part and bringing in an isometric view like you traditionally would. You can do this from the menus, but I find that this is faster just bringing in an easy, simple part. The other thing as well is that you can actually keep track of your views if you have multiple views that you're bringing in because blank boxes are hard to tell what view is what. So we're going to bring in this test part and doing this as well has made us notice that our date text is too long so we're going to have to change the format on the bottom right here so let's go back in and we're going to just edit that and we'll figure this out okay let's go back and edit the sheet we're going to move this isometric view because we don't want it haphazardly sitting in the middle somewhere we're going to move it up into the top right and then we're going to actually put in as well a revision table onto this drawing, which can also be driven by the template, which is convenient. Uh, so we're just going to go ahead and put in the default one for now, because we don't need to create a custom one at the current moment. Uh, this is a little close, so we're just going to move this down a little tiny bit. And then you're pretty much all set. At this point, what you need to do next is save this template so that you can use it for future use in other parts. So we're going to go up to File, Save As. Now we're going to take the save as type, drop it down, and go to Drawing Templates. One important thing to notice is that it is a .drwdot, and as well, we're going to give it a new name because I want to keep my original standard drawing view, so we're just going to call this something else. You'll get a warning that basically says templates only store predefined and empty views, so your view will disappear and be replaced with a square box like I mentioned earlier. So now your template is basically complete. Let's go and test it out. So we're gonna go ahead and open up a new drawing. And now you're gonna see that here, it actually appears within the advanced tab that we now have a new template. So we're gonna select that, it's gonna come in. And one thing to note as well is that you can't just use model view to put in a part. Uh, so if you bring this back in, you could do this, but in this case, it's kind of uh, defeating the point or purpose of your um, predefined views so when you actually click this thing in and set it your predefined view is not gonna fill what you need to do in this case I'm just gonna remove this view because I don't want it we're gonna right click on the predefined view we're gonna use insert model and then do it just go ahead and select the model that we want if you have multiple predefined views it will fill them all out so if you had a standard three view drawing it will automatically fill that all in and that's pretty much it. Uh, you can go ahead and save your drawing and you're pretty much all set. One thing to note is that the document properties are all driven within the template. So when you change any of these settings here, so say you need to change your units to metric, you can go ahead and change them within the document properties and then you can save your actual template again and then that will allow for it to always open up in metric. Uh, you can also change any of these other things like line font, line thickness, image quality, stuff like that. That's all driven within here. 
And with that, that's how you create a drawing template. And my name was Fred. Thanks for tuning into this CAD Dimensions Tech Tip, and we hope to see you again soon. Don't forget to check us out on YouTube, Twitter, Facebook, and our blog for more great content by clicking on the links in the description below.